have had some technical problem. problem, problem. Hello and welcome to PTZ Optics Live. Happy Friday, guys. I hope that you are ready for a wonderful weekend. We are certainly ready for something that's going on next week, NAB 2019. Let's take a look. We're super excited. We got a video to show you guys what NAB looked like last year. Let's take a look. Okay, so we've got so much to tell you guys about. Today's show is going to be all about all the new stuff we're doing, networking, in our booth, all the cameras, plus what we're doing in the cloud to make our live show that much better. Yeah, you guys are going to have a chance to help us do some live testing today as we prepare for our big trip. So we're testing a little bit about what we're doing today, uh, getting ready for NAB. We're going to show you behind the scenes of what everything's doing, and we're super excited about this. So... Today, we're talking about our NAB show setup. And Michael, I think we need to reload all the squares. Let's just go right to the whiteboard, okay? Because we had a little uh, issue getting set up. So we're going to go right to the whiteboard. And I'm going to show you guys how high level how our booth is set up. Let's do it. All right. So I'm going to take you to the whiteboard. And we're going to look at some really cool stuff that shows exactly how our NAB show is set up. So first of all... We've got a really big booth. We've got, actually, let's let's show the, the B-roll of the booth real quick. Uh, I've got a 3D diagram I'm gonna show you. It's gonna help me as I explain this, give you a little visual of what we're talking about. So here's our booth. It's a 20 by 30 booth in Central Hall. What's the booth number, Tess? C3326. That's right. It's going to be in the front area of Central Hall. And this side right here is going to feature Livestream Studio. So it's going to have a PTZ Optics producer kit using Livestream Studio. Everybody loves that. It's our super fast Intel Nook computer setup with four SDI cameras, but also access to almost 20 NDI cameras. You can see our box cameras set up there. We're going to have the VL, the 12X, and the 20X all set up. Um, we're also going to have in the front area there, we're not going to forget about the front area because that's where all of our coming soon products are going to be. Uh, some so you very can, exciting surprises there. Yeah, you can expect uh, some things there that are not going to come out until NAB. There will also be something there that we're going to uh, release next week slowly. So subscribe to the YouTube channel. All that stuff's going to be coming out. But to see the coming soon stuff, you got to watch the live show uh, on Monday. That's when we're going to announce all of the new stuff on the coming soon table. So don't forget that front booth. That's will be the first thing you see. Not till NAB, right? Not or, till NAB. Okay, okay. No, I'm not going to say Monday of NAB. Monday of NAB. Here is our streaming area here. We're going to fit three people on that cool little couch. And uh, there's going to be a coffee table, four XLR microphones, so that we can have up to four people there. And we're going to be chatting, chilling, and working with everybody there. Now, uh, in the back, you see we have our streaming setup. There's actually going to be five cameras there, a custom PC, and we're going to be running vMix and Wirecast. So vMix is going to be running our main stream, but Wirecast we're actually going to use for a secondary stream. So that our folks on YouTube, you, I don't know if you guys know this, but you can send two RTMP streams, two separate camera feeds to this, a single YouTube live event, 
and then the viewer can switch between them and determine how they want to uh, use that. So we can have two producers producing a double show almost, uh, giving people behind the scenes access while we have our normal show. And those are actually paired together in YouTube. It's really cool. So let me show you guys a little bit about what we're doing in uh, our NAB booth. Let's go back to the whiteboard. Okay. All right, now we're back to the whiteboard. Okay, so first of all, our live stream, our, our, the stream that you guys are going to be watching on YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, right? YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, okay. Um, this is all going to be piped through the cloud, and I really want to show you guys how that works, so I'll show that to you in a second. We're going to be using Easy Live, and it allows us to do some very interesting things, okay? So we can stream to all those locations, but since bandwidth and internet is you know, somewhat of a commodity, we're going to be streaming from our main computer, which is running vMix, directly to Easy Live. But we're also going to have a live view pack, which we're going to be testing today. And we're going to be going live completely wirelessly with this pack to Easy Live. So we're going to be able to switch between our main computer, which is streaming at our office, or at our office, at our booth, and then this live view pack that can literally go anywhere. So we can take you to other booths and, and down on the showroom floor and switch between these seamlessly the same way that big television studios are able to do. So that's one thing. Pretty cool, right? So we can do all that. But I also want to tell you guys about our $250 IP network that's going to allow us to power and connect over 20 cameras together. So we're using the TP-Link Archer. TP-Link Archer. This thing is so cool. We, it's only $50, and we posted about it uh, in our YouTube channel, a setup video to show you guys how that works. Then we've got a 24-port uh, jet stream, it's called, from TP-Link. And it's got 24 ports. I think 12 of them are PoE. And that is roughly $200. So I lied. We do have another $50 switch I forgot about. I think it might even be less than 50. Uh, we got an eight port uh, as well, TP-Link. So this is how it works. The Archer is the router. Our jet stream is our 24 port switch. And then we've got one more eight port switch here. So over on this side, we're connecting all of our computers. We've got the live stream studio. We've got the producer kit. We've got eight cameras roughly over here, okay? Then on our eight port switch, this is where we have our custom PC. This is where we have our Wirecast stream, and we also have six, actually five other cameras over here. So that's how it's all connected, and I just can't believe if you know anything about audiovisual or broadcast streaming to think that basically, I'm going to say $300 worth of networking gear is allowing all of this to have matrixing. Uh, also over here, we've got some Intel Nook compute sticks. If you want to grab that, Melissa, that'd be kind of cool to show. Uh, this is the compute stick here. It's like a $300. Okay, so we already shipped it to NAB. Uh, it's like a little tiny Intel Nook computer. It's HDMI. Who knows? Plugging two of those into LCDs, and they're going to run NDI Studio Monitor. So any camera, any source can be shown on those monitors. Our live stream studio can connect with our vMix, can connect to our Wirecast. Everything's been tested. Everything works. I got a little presentation I want to show you guys because there's some details. You know, all of this is so great, but it really comes down to understanding and a little bit of uh, upfront work managing the networking. So let's take a quick look at that before we jump into our IRL stream. So we'll get back to our presentation, and I got some stuff to show. Here we go. Perfect. So. Here is my presentation, and I wanted to show you guys a couple things. Here's some pictures from last year. We can't get enough of you. Look at that. Double me. Thanks, everybody. It's our lucky, it's the I audience think, I think lucky Mike, day. I think put that 30x back to test, and then you'll be good. There we go. <laughs> so here's our little bit of a booth layout here. It shows kind of the, the setup. Uh, but most importantly, I want to show the networking. So our router's right there in the middle. We've got our uh, Jetstream 24 port and then an additional uh, network switch over at our broadcast area. And then uh, that's a closer look here. This is something that's going to be printed out. And this is actually a 
poster that's going to be printed out so that you can walk up to our booth and literally see every device that's connected on the network, its IP address, its NDI friendly name, and the location that it's in. Uh, the reason why this is so important is because now you can go to Livestream Studio or Wirecast or vMix and you can search for all the NDI sources that are available on the network and you can say, oh look, there's the 20X SDI from the broadcast area. Because we're using the NDI friendly name, it shows up as a source with that name. So it's really a uh, management of IP addresses up front, also multicast addresses. These are all available via multicast. That's kind of what makes the magic happen. And uh, yeah. Got some questions here if you're right, let's ask, let's ready to take them. Sure. Kyle says, will you be pushing out your own Wi-Fi SSID as part of your local area network? Oh, I'm glad you asked because that was something I didn't get a chance to put into the presentation. The wireless uh, SSD from the TP-Link Archer is going to be out. And we were kind of talking about, should we make that available to the public? Uh, it does have a password on it. Um, if we did make it available to the public, you guys could control the cameras with, let's say, the PTZ Optics uh, iPhone or Android app. But as, as of right now, uh, we have a password on it. But yes, there is a wireless access point. We'll be able to control all the cameras from our smartphones. Green Eggs and Spam is asking about the wireless com the compute stick, saying, I can't get it to go to NDI. And are, um, are they Windows or Linux versions? Okay, so our compute sticks, we purchased the M3 versions, which is the dual core. And the dual core is going to be running the latest version of the NDI Studio Monitor, which I believe is on 3.8. I understand that 4.0 will be released at NAB. I believe uh, that would make sense, wouldn't it? I don't think I'm releasing anything crazy. By the way, we missed all of our beginning squares. I can't remember what happened or why, but um, New Tech has a great event. I don't want to forget to mention it. Sunday at uh, 7 o'clock, I believe. In North Hall in North, at in North uh, the Hall. Convention Center. Open to the public. Take a look at it on newtech.com's website. And then the stream The first Idiots square meetup. was correct. It was. Yeah, so I don't know uh, why you thought they were well, wrong. I did say computer programming then. Oh, that's not right. That is wrong. Yeah. That's absolutely wrong. We had an issue uh, getting set up. Sorry. The picture was right, mm -hmm. but then the text was wrong. Okay. Okay. So is that it? Do we have any more questions or should we go to our IRL stream? What will the IP be of the 30X 4K point four six? Ah, well, good question. Now, there's going to be some new products that are going to be released. Next week, we are doing a pre-release, a pre-NAB release of a really awesome new product. And then... Literally, you got to come to NAB. You got to see the new products on that front area, the coming soon area. And I think that covers that for us. Hey, Anders, shouting out in the chat. Thanks for joining us today. Okay. So, yeah, unplug it from the live view side. And we are going to go live and take you guys. Because part of, oh, I forgot. I want to show Easy Live. Okay. Can't so, forget about Easy Live. Can't forget about Huge Easy Live. Huge part of what. We're going to be using to okay. power multiple streams. So this is something I really wanted to show. Um, it's really important to our overall setup, and it's called GoEasy.Live. Uh, to give you an idea of what it looks like. This is a, the, the cloud-based service I was talking about earlier. I wanted to show it full screen uh, to give you an idea of what it looks like. Um, this service allows us to have... You can see the live view solo feed there. Look at that. Isn't that funny? Oh, we just went... Whoop. Sorry. Just went uh, live with the with the live view solo. I saw, I think that auto check button I don't want because I want the preview to be the live view. See, there's the preview of the live view. That's your that's your preview, Melissa. So you can see what you're what you're doing. Looks like I uh, need to straighten it a little. But that's how we're gonna go live from there. Um, so that Melissa, you can use your preview to kind of straighten it out and everything. Um, is how we're gonna switch between two different RTMP feeds. We could have five RTMP feeds. We could have a hundred. There you go. Um, and it also gives us the ability to have this cool little overlay. So that's our IRL overlay, if you will. Um, there's our live view solo. So yeah, it's it's looking a little, you can see it's like uh, definitely a little wonked. And Tess will help you kind of straighten it out. It looks like it's got to go down a little too. Um, all right, so let's. Uh, can we get a wide shot to show Melissa or zoom out or something? How's this? So that we can show Melissa still crooked? before we before we switch over. Uh, it's looking a lot better. Yes. 
So okay. let's give everybody a wide shot real quick, and then we'll switch over to uh, to this Live View backpack. I just want to show. Great. We got our wireless, so we're gonna go ahead and switch over. Are you guys ready? Ready. All right, let's do it. So now we've switched over to our uh, live view setup. And Including audio? Yeah, well, the audio should be coming through there. We should just double check real quick to make sure we're good. As far as I know, I just turned it on and it's it should. Going in and out. Oh no! Yes, all right, all right. Did that work? Yep. Woo! Okay, I hear it. Are we good? You can hear it too? All right, so we're good. All right, so we're gonna, this is a crucial portion of our show, is the ability to switch back and forth from studio to a live walking yes, show. especially for NAB. Okay, I'm just gonna just turn this audio. just one little hair. We're not getting any audio? Should be working. Uh-oh, we're gonna go down the hallway. This is our lovely office. This is our lovely office, and I will be monitoring the chat on YouTube. Again, I'll be monitoring the chat on YouTube if you'd like to chat with us, please do. The link to the YouTube Good. stream is in the Facebook chat, as well as the Twitch chat, I believe. Well, my, uh, I can only follow one on chat. Wait, it's still crooked. I didn't do anything. I just got crooked shoulders. What are you wearing? Where's your leather jacket? Yeah. Is that home? Does this not look right? No. It's fine. <laughs> We're it's just it. gonna go it get a fun. drink, double check something. Uh, Cause we got, we, ha we literally have to go out of the office, uh, lock the door. And Mike, are you coming, Mike? He's coming. Who has keys? Oh, uh, you're gonna watch the chat? All right. Do you have keys? I have keys. We're gonna... Okay. So we're just gonna walk to CVS, grab a drink, come back. It smells odd out here. It does smell odd. So this is an important part of the show. Oh, it started raining. Too. Right here to record. Ah! Really? Did they have to start raining right when we try this? We're gonna have to go in somewhere. All right. So what chat do you have? I have I have YouTube chat. Very technical difficulties. So we just, we just go to Carl. You know, since right there. I mean, yeah. Coffee. Get coffee, or do you want to walk all the way down to Starbucks? Uh, too far. Oh, it's not that far. <laughs> um, I'll do. I'll do Facebook test, right? Okay. Don't get hit by a car. Yes. Right. When IRL streaming, be sure. <laughs> You're gonna be running a little bit with me. Breaking the law live. It's not the first time. It probably won't be the last. I mean, you're right. Hi guys. Hey, Outcast.com. Hey, here to record. Thanks for making the switch. Okay, so um, we'll take you to the place that Hi. is the best. Hi. Yes, he is not lying about that. We literally eat here all the time. He does. <laughs> uh, she works here. Literally, if I'm not here one day, it's like one day if the world has like gone down. Beautiful uh, coffee bar here and everything. It's really nice. Amazing cheeses. Uh, Free samples. Free samples. Go Gouda. Oh, it's a Gouda. With tiny maple mustard. Thank That's you delicious. So much. Everything's working right? As far as I know. Let's just get um, some drinks and we'll rock and roll. Now, you want a coffee test? Yeah, but I didn't bring my purse. I could go for, I could go for one of those matcha teas. Ooh, ooh, matcha tea? All right, let's go Those again. are pretty good. Yeah, we gotta decide what we want while we're doing this. There's so many options. Like what, go fast? Bruce is in there, we used the line to solo, yes we are. Tara, every time you adjust, it slowly turns back. My sister? Me, yeah. probably me. It's Gouda. It just wants to turn right. Oh. Oh, yeah. So this is something great. you have to learn how to take control of. It looks pretty straight to me now. That's what I'm saying. Right. I guess Oh, yes, please. Um, what is a green tea matcha? I want a green tea matcha. What is that? What is that? Matcha is a powder green tea. So it comes like... 
it's not like a loose leaf. Like a cream, like a is it, is it like a latte type thing? You can make it either with hot water or with tea. tea. No, it's totally up to you. Really? Yeah. Is it kind of like when you get like a green tea latte at Starbucks? I've never had that, but I've just said so. Yeah. Okay. Uh, hot apple cider, loose tea, and then they also have all of those really nice little drinks like soda. You have drinks. the green tea matcha. Is that what you're getting? I don't know. I kind of, I do kind of like those special drinks over there too. Sure. Uh, Go ahead. What, what do you? Would you want something hot like that, or something like sweet and like refreshing, like a just like a Snapple? I don't know. Or something. I want something hot and caffeinated. You okay, want then, then we'll something. Go here, then. You want something sweet. Then you get something sweet. I'll buy what me and test. Yeah, let what us know want? in the chat. I'll get a chai latte. You get the chai latte. All right. I'll get a chai latte too. Music okay. violation. From from the music in here. Did we from, just get one? Yeah, uh, Michael just texted me. I'm sorry. <gasps> music is playing over loudspeakers. Oh no. Bye. We gotta go. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> So let us know if you guys can still uh, see us hear, hear and hear us. It'll let us back. Michael says we didn't get one yet. We didn't. Oh, he was warning us. I guess, but the stream is. What does that say? We always got to make sure we're always safe. To go back to Carhoon? That would be kind of a, uh, ridiculous. Go to the French baguette. Mike's telling us. Okay, let's see how, hey, Mike. how we're going. We're doing. Dude, warning us. That was smart. Okay. That was smart. Okay. Yeah, because he could probably hear it through my, this. My stream started buffering, so I thought we might have. But good call. Okay. Sounds Smart good. move on Mike Smart staying move, staying in this shop. Okay. Thanks, so Mike. Why don't we why don't we just go back to the studio and switch seamlessly back from the IRL to the studio? That's, That's a one good of those portion of the test, yeah. That's really what we're talking So now we have to pops here, we should No. Here. <laughs> no, don't follow the law, Melissa's saying. I can't Now go. Tess, you don't have to run. I always run, okay? Yeah, you see this? You don't know how fast these cars can whip I know that firsthand, okay? I know, but we didn't even get Did you guys anywhere. see that guy butt in front of us? Well, and also I know how... We were literally taking too long and he butt in front of us. Melissa Cam leans right. I know. Of course it is. We're trying to, to figure this one out. We might have to... It's normally down there. It's is way it too normally high lower up, so her, and then pushed she's up. Bumping into it. Yeah, that's what it is. So let's it needs to be pulled down. This is good practice. Sorry, it's pulling your hair, yeah. It's fine. So just pull it down and then push it up, I think is what Tessa's saying. Like one of these. It's gonna yeah, feel that, weird for our viewers. That will give you more How do I It's, it's on a... backwards technically. <laughs> because otherwise, yeah. Okay, well that's otherwise we'd have more space. Okay. That's another thing we gotta check next time. So you always learn something new. Okay. And apparently I'm no, I, the door. I might be controlling this in NAB. So Yeah. This is good. Camera this is one good. man. This is good. Hello. Gotta test it. And I don't even have to move much. Now we're back in our lovely office. Thank you, Paula. Good. See, the door for the ladies. At least we got a free cheese sample. I mean, hey. It was Gouda. Was it Gouda? It was. It was very Gouda. <laughs> very Gouda, Gouda. Gouda delicious. Okay. Now we're gonna switch back to the mainstream. Us. Good, good, good. We booked out of Carlinos.
Okay. One of those things. Boink. And boink. Well, we haven't All done an right. IRL stream in a while. Yeah. So we needed to get that, refreshed. Doesn't your like, blood immediately start pumping? Yeah. Like when you go crazy. live like that? I think Live You Solo Ooh. is such a great product for that kind of thing. It's crazy. It's like, woo. It's intense. Streaming. And everyone's all like, what are they doing? Yeah, it's like, where is it going? And the camera angles. There's something about like a studio where there's fixed cameras. You can really focus on a topic. And then there's something about a camera that's just constantly moving. You don't know where it's going to go next. Even we didn't know where we were going next. So it'll be, it'll be a lot of fun. Just imagine that in Las Vegas on the <laughs> showroom floor, behind the scenes. Showing These comments things. are funny because I didn't have access to them a, a lot. The type PA pens. You cross the street outside the crosswalk. Do you color outside of the lines too? Oh. <laughs> yes, I do. She does. She does. And Melissa was like kind of joking about who cares about the police. So it shows. Yes, like, please. I Melissa. told everybody that Paul's buying. We didn't end up I'm getting not. anything because we were. We no, were I was going to no, buy. I just, you're not going to buy. From we me. got Michael scared. He can take us, it. We got we got scared about the. Basically, whenever I hear copywritten music and I'm live streaming, like my He's hair like, stands run! up. Like, run! Like literally, because I live streamed this like mu this uh parade in Westchester, and like every once in a while there'd be a car that would come by Amazing. and it would be playing music, and I would literally run away. So it's just kind of like a thing. For what me. temperature is it outside in Celsius? I don't know, but I think it's around 55 degrees 60, in Fahrenheit. 60 degrees Fahrenheit. 60 degrees Fahrenheit. It's really good. Tomorrow's going to be around 70 here <laughs> and I'm beautiful. So offline tomorrow. So, so one of the things that I'm really happy about is that Michael's getting more comfortable with the easy live scenario. This is great um, testing for that. So the cool thing about it is that we're sending one stream to the cloud and then the cloud is handling, you know, as many streams as we'd like. Um, so that's really cool. In fact, Michael was like streaming to you to YouTube, Twitch and Facebook. And I was like, no, you don't have to stream to to those. J just easy live. Is so our that's, IRL that's stream 1080? It's uh, 720, 60 or something like that. <laughs> uh, it's a high bit rate 720. I don't think that the live you solo does 1080. It's a high bit rate 720, I believe. Because I didn't see that option. Is Actually, Melissa Cam going to NAB? I think she can is. Force 1080, and I think I did. Is Show yes, and tell. Melissa -NAB. is coming to NAB. We decided we had a vote. It it uh, it is going to be an important experience for her, and uh, she's going to be helping running the live show. So uh, we're happy about that. Everyone gets to meet Melissa. Uh, she is going to be the IRL camera person. She's going to be our audio engineer. She's going to be our installer. Uh, she's going to be wearing a lot of hats. Paul, have you ever had your stream taken down due to copyright music? If so, on what platforms did you get a warning or a timeout for a while? So, gen uh, yes. Um, so I've gotten some warnings from, um, from YouTube specifically. Facebook, not so much, really. Uh, yeah, and Twitch is pretty forgiving because sometimes we have music on the beginning of the streams and we don't yeah. know yet. Though, yeah, everyone on Twitch is using copyright music and it's fine. So, I'm is surprised. it a Sony FDR X three thousand? Yes, pretty that's much, our yeah. camera because mm -hmm. we got that question. And Larry just bought one for himself. They're great cameras. I use it all the time. Um, you know, they they have different field of view angles, which is pretty cool for the lens. So you can do a wide angle. You could we could have done a tighter angle. Uh, which I've thought about, but I think for IRL, you really want that super wide in case you get close up. Because mm -hmm. uh, we could get really close up to that camera. And Man, she here. really had me sold on the matcha tea. Who uh, here knows what matcha green tea is? Yes, it's a very highly potent I didn't. Uh, green tea. Does that mean I, it's super caffeinated? Yeah, and honestly, I wasn't in the mood for ca for really that much caffeine anyway. So I was just like, copyright uh, yeah. strike, let's run. I like a half whatever. calf in the afternoon. Uh, but it... I hey, saw Stuart. a little pixelation uh, on my phone, but my phone probably didn't have the best internet access. So mm -hmm. I'm going to, I love, see, I really love doing these tests and then going back and being like, all right, like, what does it look like on demand? What was the real quality from a, you know, good internet connection kind of thing? Right. Yeah. We definitely need to be doing this kind of testing before we head out there. Now, the solo that we're using at the show is already on its way there. Yep, we've got um, uh, a solo unit on its way. Melissa's fixing the... And we've got a uh, real backpack. 
The yeah, real live U backpack. We've got a real live U backpack. We have the LU 600. We have two live U solos. What is the cheapest plan with Easy Live? Uh, I'm not sure about their pricing. Sure. I can't remember. Um, but we definitely recommend Easy Live. They work great. Everyone uses them. It's the Twitch favorite. The hey, Chris. IRL favorite. Um, Lots of people here excited for NAB. Kyle's can't wait to see everyone. We can't wait to see you. Yeah, I can't wait to see everybody. I can't wait for the Streaming Idiots meetup. I can't wait for the new tech announcements. Um, I can't wait to do just some IRL. Because didn't that feel good? Just do the mm-hmm. IRL. Like, we haven't done that in a long time. Yeah, we haven't. So I was really excited so about So we had that. to... Stretch it out and get ready. Maybe we'll do an IRL for the final post show um, on Thursday, our last show before anybody. One more. And then, for of course, good luck. Gonna, I know that I'll be doing an IRL or two before the show starts, kind of behind the scenes, maybe mm-hmm. showing the setup of some. We have to stuff, do a little mini so. stream while we're setting up the booth yeah. and stuff for sure. And I will be, of course, taking you along our journey via my story with the airplanes and the travels and the lights and the glitz. So stay tuned for that. All right. Well, that's our show. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, hopefully we got everything uh, under control. Everything went pretty smooth. We had a little startup issue, which was uh, no one's fault. It was just a weird uh, glitch uh, with the graphic title editor in VMix. been driving us both insane. Yep. To talk to VMix about that, we might be doing something wrong. What networks do you use with the live view? I'm not doing anything wrong. Uh, no, I know. I'm just. <laughs> it's, it's more of a, a, a workflow. I think. Um, with the Live View, we've got AT&T, Verizon, and I have something called unlimitedirl.com, uh, Ethernet, uh, Net, AT&T Nighthawk. Um, it provides Wi-Fi and a hardwired Ethernet to the Live View solo. So that way we've got Verizon Jetpack, AT&T Backpack, Jetpack, and... Jetpack? Jetpack. They're, that's like a USB pluggable... Uh, wireless cellular connectivity Jet modem. Pack, snap and back, then I have the Nighthawk. The Nighthawk is... You want to bring that over here, Melissa? The Nighthawk. Um, we've done a video Ka-ka. about this on our Stream Geeks channel, but essentially, Melissa's going to bring it over here. It does look hey, a little Alex, ridiculous. Don't worry about that us. part. This what is what it looks to- like. Um, we've got it all kind of strapped together in this cocoon. So we've got the live view, which I am going to turn off because we're done the with ones it. that are headed to Vegas is AT and T and there. Verizon, right, Melissa? This is the Nighthawk, so you can see that actually plugs Ethernet right in. So you can have with one live view solo, Ethernet, Wi Fi, and two cellular modems. So that's what it, that's just kind of keep this thing keeps it all together. It just keeps it all from like jingle jangling, and we've done a lot of testing with like right angle cables. Uh, David Foster from Geeks Life helped us out with that. And then uh, these cables are generally better organized, but they're strapped together. And finally, on the bottom, there is usually a Power Oak, uh, really powerful battery pack that powers the Live View, this uh, wireless thing, and the camera so that if we needed to, which we won't need to, stream for like 10 hours at a time, we actually could, surprisingly. Chris says, supposedly the convention working. center has a Verizon cellular setup inside. Good. Um, that's good to hear because we will definitely need that Verizon then. Edgar. Too bad I just Edgar is watching and setting up two PTZ cameras for an event today, but nice. I don't have internet and going to use the Live View solo. And I don't know how to set up my PTZ IP address. Okay. Um, the best thing to do is to take your remote control, hit pound star four and i'll show you that really quickly and then we're going to get out of here because the end of the show but you can go here and hit pound star four then your camera will automatically get an ip address from your dhcp server if you don't have a dhcp server you got to connect to it directly to give it a static ip address then you can hit star pound four and it will display its ip address on the hdmi or sdi video output there's more on that in the camera setup video guide Thanks for watching the show, everybody. It was so much fun. Uh, just get, helping us work through any possible kinks, but mm-hmm. I don't think there was any. So things were good. All right, guys. We'll see you next week. Bye.